So in order to make your mandala, you have to collect things first. Just go around the house or in your desk or in your room, wherever. Ask permission from the adults if you want to go get some paper clips or if you want to go outside, ask permission and ask permission to pick a flower if you have one or anything round for the middle of it, okay? I happen to collect these stones when I go to the beach. I like to collect all white ones, so I have them. If you have yarn, you can make pieces by cutting them all the same length, like you just hold it up and then cut them. So the reason for things being the same and having more than one is because you're going to make a pattern. So you're going to repeat what you're doing. And that's also what makes it relaxing and um, something that you can meditate on when you look at it. It just gives you a feeling of peace and calmness like the universe is in order. So I'm going to use the flower for my middle, the center. You find whatever you want. I also have this top of, of a jar, so I could use that, and it already has a design on it. And if you really can't find anything round, you can cut a piece of paper round, just a little thing. But you can, might find a lid of a jar or a bottle cap. Once you have one thing in the middle, now you're going to make a radial pattern. I happen to have pasta that nobody wanted to eat. Nobody but me, so I never made it for dinner because it's made out of lentils, it's so healthy, but they didn't want it, okay. So I'm, I really love the color, I'm just lucky I happen to have it. You don't even have to think about what you're going, what it's going to look like when you're done. All you have to do is start going around in a circular pattern, which radiates from the middle. Some patterns go in a straight line. This one does not. Next, I'm going to use my stones. Now, the paper's white, so you might not be able to see it as well as I can, but I'm still going to use them. Yeah, you can see them pretty well. I'm not sure if I have enough, so I'm just going to put one at the end of each piece of pasta, macaroni, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, this one's made out of lentils and carrots. That's why it's orange. You can also use leaves. I think it's pretty so far. I like it. Now, if you happen to have beads or a lot of paper clips, go right ahead and use anything you have multiples of. I happen to have clothespins. I think it'll look better that way. I'm going to put them in between the stones. So even though you're doing one row at a time, you can go back and add something in between what you already did. Like maybe I want to, do, you know what? I'm gonna switch. <laughs> Try it out and move it. When you're done, you're going to take a picture of this. You don't have to glue it down because the traditional way of making a mandala is that it is not permanent anyway. You might think this is similar to the art we did from nature, and it is. Maybe some of you made a radial pattern, but it could have been anything at that time, and now we must do radial pattern. So I'm gonna keep going around and around and around and I have to find more things. I did cut the stem of my flower, but I only have, I don't have that many, so I'm not really sure where to put it yet. I can't put it on every one, so I'll go across and across this way. Now I'm gonna go find more objects and I will show you when I'm done. Be creative, enjoy it, and I will see you later.